Okay, um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve a 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube. Um, first off, I'll say that you should, um, before attempting to solve a 5x5, five five, you should be able to solve a 3x3. Three three. At least I recommend it. And, um, you don't have to be able to solve a 4x4 four four, um, to watch this tutorial because it's just kind of like the same concept so anyways let's get started um, first off let's go over pieces okay um, if you look at this um, there's three main parts the white the white stickers it's called the centers the orange stickers that's called the edge pieces or trudge pieces because there's one, two, three, three edge pieces. And then there the blue is the corner pieces. So there are um eight corner pieces all together. Um there's three six nine. There's twelve edge pieces on one side. And then there's nine center pieces. There's for the centers there are three different types of a center. There's the middle center or just the center. And then there's um the center edge pieces which are right here, 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 and here. Then there's the corner pieces or corner center pieces which or here, 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 and here. Then there's two different types of edge pieces. There's the center edge piece or the middle edge piece. And then there's the two wings or outer edge pieces. And then the corners are just like normal 3x3. Three three. So, um... In the method that I'm going to teach you, there are three main steps. Um, the first step is pairing up all of the center pieces so they look like they do right now. And then pairing up all the edge pieces like they look right now. After the first two main steps of pairing up the edges and solving the centers, it looks just like a 3x3 three three. so that th all the centers paired up equals one center piece all the edge pieces paired up makes one edge piece for the 3x3 three three. and then the corners are just the normal corners and then you can use the same concept in solving the 3x3 three to solve the 5x5 five five once you pair up all the centers and edges. So then you just solve it normally like a, you would on a 3x3. Three three. And until it's solved, which is going to be in just a second. until it's solved like this and so now that I went over this 99% of this method I'm going to teach you is intuitive and what that means is there is no memorization needed it's just based on logic and common sense and I'll just put those thoughts into your mind and help you out in solving this 5x5. Five five. So, um, that was the intro, and let's get on to the centers.